Congratulations! You're ready to enter a transaction into Paperless Pipeline. Let's get started. The reason that you're entering a transaction into Paperless is that you either have a buyer client who now has a ratified contract or you have a listing. Let's get this going. Top left, Add Transaction. Click on that. Now we are ready to add it. The name of the transaction is the street address. Please add the town and zip code. That will help me a little bit here. Okay, so please put the MLS number. There's in 99% of the cases you're going to have an MLS number so let's go ahead and get that in there because in the future should this property sell again it will have a different MLS number and that will help differentiate it. Our status um, you will either have the listing or it will be pending and in our case we're going to go ahead, go ahead and say that we have a buyer and so we're going to click on that status. There probably won't be labels needed too often as you can see these are some unusual circumstances I we can put standard purchase in there not absolutely necessary um, close date for any ratified contract you're going to have a date that you indicated you would close close on or before so let's go ahead and put that in there and then change it as need be the rest of this uh, in here only as you see fit listing date not necessary expiration acceptance that's nice not needed buyer name okay seller okay you should have all this information the list price the nest was originally going for 110 Oscar got him down to 100 so go ahead and get your commission in there yourself it will not automatically figure if you'd like to put the commission summary um, that's particularly nice if there is something unusual going on it, two and a half percent whatever it might be if there's an unusual situation go ahead and explain it now it's time to assign the agents uh, in this case uh, this would be the buyer agent so a selling agent I'm gonna go ahead and put myself in here as the selling agent um, of the listing agent uh, in this case you have the buyer you won't be putting a listing agent of somebody in our company because should there be a deal that we have both sides of the listing should already be in paperless and the listing agent will go ahead and add you as the buyer agent which means that you will both have access to the one transaction in paperless so okay so which means that in this case the listing agent is an outside agent so it's Maria from Sesame Street Realty and I'm gonna go ahead and get her email in there and then we will be good to go so let's go ahead and add this okay now we've been added okay as you can see down here bottom left there is a checklist uh, at the top of that checklist is the ratified contract because without that this transaction shouldn't be being entered into paperless okay um, then there will be a number of things that are pretty standard in all deals. Um, you cannot check these things off even once you have uploaded them. That is the admin's job. In this case, it's my job to look through things and then go ahead and get each item checked off the list. If there's something in here you're not going to have, okay, if uh, it's a brand new house, there's not going to be any lead based paint disclosure. Um, so I would, you know, you would let me know that and I would delete that from the list okay um, let's go ahead and upload if you see where my cursor is right now let's upload some of these documents I have created a few documents for purposes of this so I go to the United Real Estate Library and because I have a PC I hit control and I simply click 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 and I will upload all of these into paperless now I need to put a permission category again as the buyers agent I want it to be buyer. That means the agent can see it and the office staff, the admins are able to see everything as well in order to review it. That is where your job will end. Simply upload the documents and now on your transaction you will see uh, all those documents there and then it flips over to to my court 
where I would go and I would open up each of these documents. In this case, this is a Word document, so I would have to download it. Uh, the PDFs open up right away right in here as you will notice and so I would look over it are the correct initials and signatures everywhere they need to be everything look good great I've reviewed it and then I will check it off and that is how that will happen um, each time so I will check off that we've got a ratified contract the copy of the earnest money check so I'm checking everything off as I go. You can see that in the top right corner there's a percentage complete. The goal for every transaction is 100% uh, uh, immediately following closing and then the commission check will be cut. You see the MLS full agent listing on the list here. This is very important to protect uh, you as an agent, your client, uh, it's to protect everyone. This will give us a copy of the listing as of the date of the contract. Uh, in case you're thinking how do I do this, I mean you could certainly print off the listing and then scan it into your computer or you can go to MLS, open up a listing because there is no such thing as 123 Sesame Street here in our Columbia MLS. I'm going to open up uh, my own listing for my own house okay to show you that where you can easily take care of this okay it's a little bit slow here we go so you you see that you have the ability to print or save as a PDF save as a PDF is fine it seems to be a slightly larger document it tends to be a two page PDF whereas if you're using Chrome and you hit print you actually have an option to save it as a PDF it's under the the place where you would have all of your printers okay and one of the options is save as PDF so I would just do that um, and save it in the same under the same folder that I have been using um, and I don't have any other PDFs in there so I'm gonna do that and boom so then I would simply go back to paperless upload another document and there it is and you're done and then that's for me to see so and I would click that off and click that off and you see how simple this is so that is the basic way of getting your transaction started in paperless that took just over five minutes hopefully it will be as easy for you